Do you believe that girls and boys have equal abilities in math? Let me see a show of hands. Most agree, right? Why do women represent less than 20% of computer science graduates? Why are women only 13% of working engineers? Why are women only 29% of math PhDs? How many of you have seen these kinds of long lines at the women's restroom while the men's room next door has barely any line at all? Raise your hand if you have. Almost everyone. I went to a theme park recently. My dad and I went to the restroom there. He leaves me in line, goes to the men's room, takes care of his business, and comes back in just two minutes. He looks at me and says, you're still waiting in line? I said, yeah, look at it. There are 15 ladies in front of you. Your line barely moved. Yeah, I know. Then he brags, there was no line at the men's room. Most women have to deal with these long lines, right? This is at the Boston Opera Theater. The Boston Globe reported that these nicely dressed ladies are not in line to see the drama at the theater, but the real drama is what you see here. Hundreds of ladies waiting in line to go to the restroom while the men are just breezing through. One of them's reading a book, some are looking at their phones, but most are just waiting up the stairs. To show how bad things really are, there was even a bathroom police. This enthusiastic lady in a black coat with a microphone would announce, stall 13 is ready, next lady please. As soon as she hears someone flush, she would announce, now stall 11 is ready, next please. I mean, I'm a fan of technology and all, but a microphone in a bathroom seems to be a little too much. Why is this happening? Do you think that the architects who designed these buildings are mostly women or men? Raise your hand if you think it's men. Yes, men. Because men outnumber women architects by a whopping four to one. Ladies, unless we become the engineers and architects who design these buildings, we are going to be standing in long lines. The wait time is too long whether it is to get to the bathroom or to the boardroom. Women make up half the population, yet they are underrepresented in innovative fields such as space travel, self-driving cars, and robotics. If we aspire to never stop innovating, we need more women in science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM fields. Patents are one way that we can use to measure inventions. As you can see in this graph, patents are still a male thing. Only 30% of patent applications had at least one woman inventor. What does this tell us? That 70% of patent applications were solely men. 70%. If you look here, you can see that only 12% of patent inventors for approved patents are women. STEM fields are rich with patents, and if there is a lack of women in STEM, there will be a lack of women inventors. When my name was called at last year's Math Counts chapter competition, the final round, I was the only girl surrounded by nine boys. As I walked onto stage, I thought, where are the girls? In my last year's pre-cal class, Boys outnumbered girls four to one. I wondered, where are the girls? It is time we change this. The jobs of the future, such as artificial intelligence or AI and space exploration, require creativity and innovation. Some of the greatest challenges we face today, such as climate change and renewable energy, require strong skills in STEM. In the future, you and I are most likely to work with a robot as a coworker. Like in this photo, 
This woman has an AI-powered robot sitting next to her in office. If women don't actively participate, then this labor shortage in STEM fields will affect our economy. Products designed solely by men may not work as well for women. This has happened before. The first car airbags were designed by men. When deployed in a car crash, they protected men but killed the smaller sized women and children. Women need to be a part of the future of AI because it is so transformative, it will change the world. The Smithsonian Science Education Center estimates that there are about 2.4 million job openings in STEM fields. 2.4 million, that's a lot. If women don't participate, this will hurt our economy. How do we solve this problem? First, we need to start by encouraging girls in math, coding, and engineering as early as middle school. Why middle school? Microsoft did a comprehensive study where they surveyed over 11,000 girls across 12 countries. Their findings? Girls gain interest between ages 11 and 12, but lose interest quickly between ages 15 and 16. Why am I talking here? I am 14 years old. I'm excited about math. I'm excited about technology. I'm excited about science. So are most of my friends. But what I worry is that in the next few years when we turn 16, not all of them will still say that. Why is coding important? Siri, call Domino's Pizza, please. I found 15 places. Tap the one you want to call. How many of you are hungry for pizza here? I sure am. <laughs> when we ask Siri or Alexa to order us a pizza, it is the code that does what we ask for. When we see Tesla cars navigating the roads in autopilot mode, it is the code that keeps the drivers and passengers safe. There was a viral video of a Tesla car on the road driving at 80 miles per hour while the driver was sleeping at the wheel. What kept him safe? The code. This chart shows the US computer science graduates in the years 2000 and 2015. The men's numbers are represented in red and the women's are in orange. As you can see, in this 15 year period, the women's numbers decreased. They started at 9,300 and went down to 8,600, while the men's numbers increased by 65%. This period saw some of the greatest technology booms, such as the internet. Most women during this time were on the sidelines. We want these numbers to increase, not decrease. Now let's try something. Close your eyes. Imagine a civil engineer wearing a yellow hard hat, standing on top of an unfinished building and looking through some blueprints. Now open your eyes. Did you imagine a man or a woman in your head? If you imagined a man, raise your hand. A lot of you imagined a man. Well, why can't it be a young girl or a young woman like me? If you think a girl like me could make it as a successful civil engineer, clap your hands. Thank you. Most girls are affected by these negative stereotypes, thinking that they are not good enough for math and engineering to excel in these jobs. We need to break these negative stereotypes. Women need more role models in science, like Jane Goodall and Mary Curie. Another great way to encourage girls to go into STEM is through mentorship. Mentorship should start in schools and colleges long before women enter the workforce. Young girls may be apprehensive of STEM because there's a perception it is hard for women. To alleviate this, one word, apprenticeship. 
Apprenticeship should start with an industry professional helping a student so that they can get a feel for the job, such as a STEM field. Countries such as Germany and Switzerland already have well-established apprenticeship programs. Over 70% of Swiss students are in apprenticeships starting at age 15, lasting about two to four years. This allows women to see the real world applications and how they can make an impact. Colorado state government has embarked on an ambitious statewide project to place 20,000 students in the apprenticeship programs by 2027. This lets women get a feel for STEM jobs before they commit to majoring. Look at this slightly different bathroom line. Why is the men's line so long while the women's line barely has one or two people in it? Is it because the architects built a bigger bathroom for the women? No, unfortunately not. This is at a technology conference. The one place we want women to have long lines, we have short lines. This is because there are so few women in technology. I can barely find one or two people in that photo. This clearly evinces the major gender gap in technology fields. The next time you see a men's line longer than a woman's at a STEM event, you should consider encouraging a young girl's career into STEM, whether it be your daughter, your wife, your sister, or even yourself. Because as we can see here, bathroom lines seem to be a proxy for gender inequality. Having more women in science will result in more cures. Having more women executives in technology will result in novel business strategies. Having more women in STEM will supercharge innovation for the coming decades. Change your career to STEM and change the world. Thank you.